Ever wondered how hackers managed to steal passwords right off a system's memory? Welcome to our discussion on Mimikatz, the powerful tool that does just that. As we move deeper into the digital age, cybersecurity becomes increasingly crucial. Its tools like Mimikatz, designed to extract plain texts, passwords, hashes, pin codes, and Kerberos tickets from memory, that remind us of the importance of staying one step ahead. In this video, you'll learn how to use Mimikatz, but remember, Knowledge is a tool that can be used for good or ill. First, let's understand what Mimikatz is. In the realm of cybersecurity, Mimikatz is a well-known post-exploitation tool. It's like the Swiss army knife for anyone who wants to test the security of their system, or unfortunately for those with more malicious motives. It's capable of extracting plaintext passwords, hash, pins, and Kerberos tickets from memory. Mimikatz was developed by Benjamin Delpy, a French programmer, initially as a way to understand and experiment with Windows security. Its creation wasn't intended for nefarious purposes, but rather to expose and highlight vulnerabilities within the Windows operating system. However, like many tools in the digital world, it can be misused. In the wrong hands, Mimikatz can be a potent weapon for hackers, allowing them to bypass security measures and gain unauthorized access to systems. Now that you know what Mimikatz is, it's time to dive into how it operates. Getting started with Mimikatz requires installation. To begin, you'll need to either clone or download the Mimikatz repository from GitHub. Once you've done that, navigate to the Mimikatz directory and compile the solution using Microsoft's Visual Studio. If you're unfamiliar with Visual Studio, don't worry. It's a user-friendly tool that lets you build and compile code with just a few clicks. Remember, Mimikatz is a powerful tool that can expose sensitive information if misused. Therefore, it's crucial to use it responsibly and within the bounds of legality. If you're a cybersecurity enthusiast, Mimikatz provides a fantastic platform for learning about Windows security and credential management. However, if you're planning to use Mimikatz for malicious purposes, be aware that unauthorized access to computer systems is a criminal offense. With Mimikatz installed, you're ready to explore its powerful features. Let's dive deeper into the exciting world of cybersecurity and discover how Mimikatz can be an asset in your toolkit. With Mimikatz at your disposal, it's time to learn how to extract passwords. Mimikatz is a powerful tool that can extract plaintext passwords, hashes, pins, and Kerberos tickets from memory. Let's delve into how to use it effectively. Firstly, to extract plaintext passwords, we'll use the privilege debug command to enable elevated privileges. This is followed by the Securlsa Logan passwords command, which dumps the passwords from memory. Quite simple, right? But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Use this knowledge ethically. Next, if you're interested in hashes, the lsadump sam command is your friend. This command extracts hashes stored in the security account manager or sam of the system. It's a bit more technical, but once you get the hang of it, it's a breeze. Moving on, Mimikatz can also extract pins. The command here is token elevate, followed by get system, and finally, sekelsa pin code. This sequence of commands will grant you the necessary privileges, change the context to the system account, and extract the pins. Lastly, let's talk about Kerberos tickets. These are the tickets that a domain controller issues to identify and authenticate users in a network. To extract these, we use the Kerberos list command. This will list all the Kerberos tickets in memory. Now, a word of caution. Mimikatz is a potent tool, and using it can raise red flags in any decently protected system. So, be sure to have the right permissions and use it responsibly. It's also worth mentioning that using Mimikatz in a live, non-laboratory environment can be illegal. So always use it ethically and within the boundaries of the law. To sum it up, Mimikatz is a powerful tool in the right hands. It can extract plaintext passwords, hashes, pins, and Kerberos tickets from memory. But remember, it's not a toy. Use it responsibly, ethically, and within the confines of the law. You've now seen how Mimikatz can extract sensitive data from a system's memory. But what if you're on the other side of the coin? How can you protect your system from such a powerful tool? If you're wondering about this, you're not alone. Securing your system against Mimikatz is vital and thankfully, there are several effective techniques to do so. First and foremost, using strong, unique passwords is a must. A robust password should contain a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Passwords should also be unique for each account. 
reducing the risk if one password is compromised. Next, if you're using a Windows system, enabling Credential Guard can provide an additional layer of security. Credential Guard uses virtualization-based security to isolate secrets so that only privileged system software can access them. This makes it more difficult for Mimikatz to extract them. Another crucial step is keeping your systems updated. Regular updates often include security patches that fix vulnerabilities which could be exploited by tools like Mimikatz. Ensure that your operating system, antivirus software and other applications are always up to date. It's also a good idea to limit user privileges where possible. The less access a potential attacker has, the less damage they can cause. Remember, no system is impervious. However, combining these strategies can make your system a harder target and may deter potential attackers. By following these steps, you can significantly enhance your system's security against Mimikatz attacks. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. We have delved into the world of Mimikatz, a potent cybersecurity tool. This powerful software was designed to extract plain texts, passwords, hashes, PIN codes, and Kerberos tickets from memory. We walked through the process of installing Mimikatz, making sure to highlight the importance of using trusted sources to avoid any malicious versions of the software. Then we explored how Mimikatz can be used to extract passwords, a step that showed us the importance of strong, unique passwords and the dangers of password reuse. We also discussed how to secure your systems against Mimikatz attacks. We highlighted the importance of frequently updating your software using strong antivirus protection and, of course, the power of cybersecurity education. Remember, cybersecurity is a field where knowledge is power, and with power comes responsibility. Use what you've learned here wisely.